Sup, sup, sup. My name is Ryu Ford, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Welcome to Coffee Time, your Monday morning discussion video released in the evening because it gets super uber busy. This is the 4th of July episode because I am actually recording a week in advance. That's how I know. Shh. Dirty secret. Now, if by some chance Konami is to put out the list today or beforehand, well, this v video will still be relevant to some degree because we're not just going to be talking about things that I want to see on the list or things that should go on the list. We're going to be talking about how Konami should adjust the list and how they should deal with the power creep and everything like that. So it's going to be a little bit more than just a ban list. Okay, so the following goes without saying. Number one, be kind to each other in the comments. Number two, do not attack me over my opinions about the ban list. Again, we're all going to see things differently just because you feel cosmos or balance doesn't mean they are because they're far from it and especially monarchs so for the health of the game some meta decks need to be brought down so chill pill and then let's get this underway but before we do quick update i am recording it a week in advance because i know fourth of july is an extremely busy time for me so that's why i need to get this done especially this entire week that i'm actually recording coming up I'm trying to get so much stuff caught up and done that this needs to be done in advance because it will help. So with that out of the way, let's get into this. So the biggest problem that Konami faces is the power creep situation. Basically, the new set has to have something 10 times more powerful than the last. And the reason I actually bring up the whole this could be the time that we get a shift in the terms of power is mainly because of the things that are coming out for us. We have Metamorpho. I can Metamorpho. What the fuck did I just say? Metamorpho. Metamorpho is about right. We have um, the Metamorphosis cards coming out. Basically, they're a fusion archetype. They're like Ignites. They were great as an engine. I think they're gonna be fantastic. But here's the problem. And I said this about Blue Eyes. I said this about Dark Magician. I'll say it again. Unless Konami hits the big decks that will rise up after, you know, they hit Cosmos and Marks, then nothing else is going to really rise up. People are not going to buy anything new. Just the damn truth. Um, so, Cosmos and Monarchs and Phantom Knights and Burning Abyss and... I think those big four are pretty much the, you know, the ceiling. So the ceiling needs to be brought down about five feet... Before Konami can actually interest you in new stuff. And yes, nostalgia and giving everything a goddamn solemn will only take you so far. And I know that sounds like I'm just roid raging or being very pissed off. But I'm just being honest. I mean, come on. Frogs are getting a freaking solemn. Ying Zing are getting a solemn. It's like, you get a solemn and you get a solemn and you get a solemn too. And it's just like, that's not the answer, Konami. That's not the answer we need. We need you to look at the ban list. Things that can come off completely with the erratas, as much as people don't like erratas, need to come off to clean that shit up. And then shit that is unbalanced needs to get the fuck on there. So, I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently infrastructure-wise. I'll be talking about cards all over the place. So, um, what I would love to be returned, and I said this multiple times, it's not an issue anymore. God damn it, Konami, get on that bull is Chaos Emperor Dragon. It's the 20th year of Yu-Gi-Oh! It is basically one of the core cards that started meta, you know, the meta deck, the meta game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Besides Summon Skull, is Chaos Emperor Dragon. And what a perfect time to bring that back than now. And I know the next one I'm going to probably bring up will piss people off because it's a 50-50 it's thing. I honestly don't think it needs to come back. We're fine the way it is. But because of D-Heroes... I think this would be the time. Road is at one. And if anything, just put a hero lives and we're good to go. But Stratos, if it's ever going to come back, this is probably the best time. Because you want that nostalgia train and you want to get people hyped behind D heroes. You need that next element. But you got to be very careful because at the same time, you don't want to make them just go to regular heroes. You want to sell new product. But you can sell heroes because of new product, because of Destiny heroes. Because they kind of mesh well. So, Konami, good crack, man. Um, limited. I only put two on the ban, uh, unlimited, you know, off the ban list, because that's really, right now, that's all we kind of need. Um, there's a lot that they could do to really slow down the game. Raigeki would be one, uh, because we already have two dark holes, and we need to be able to use our trap cards more. And honestly, like, I know I just said use more trap cards, but 
honestly, sometimes with three notice, it gets a little bit crazy. So I'm not pledging for Heavy Storm to come back. In this case, I'm actually pledging for notice to go to one because three notice and warning is not good. It's not healthy. As much as people want to say it is, don't worry, we're bringing the whole fucking ceiling down, not just notice. So notice to one. For the love of God, Konami, there's too much back row, and Twin Twists and MST are only going to go so far, and as many replacements as, you know, you want to give this, you know, this banishes a card out for 1,000 light points, it don't mean shit. It's not enough. Just hit the problem, you know? And notice isn't really a problem, but it's basically, it's, it's the bandage that goes over the giant wound that needs to get healed too, and that, we're going to address that in a moment. The game needs to completely slow down completely needs to slow down upstart goblin was in the right direction as much as people don't really like to admit that it was the game is starting to slow down again it needs to and i know what i'm about to say is probably gonna give me shit for it um but it's not because of the price rise i don't really care about the price rise to be fair i don't have a stake in the secondary market for the 15th time guys galaxy soldier every goddamn light deck is Pushing this in to just make Cyber Dragon Infinity, and honestly, that's not the point of what the card was designed for. And you could say just ban Cyber Dragon Infinity, but then you're hurting a deck that really needs it, Cyber Dragon. So either Infinity banned or Galaxy Soldier to one. I'd rather have Galaxy Soldier to one because then less rank five spam. It's not against Galaxy players. It's just that it's being so splashed in to slow down that ABC deck that's coming up. Just a little bit to give it, you know, just get rid of that defense. The deck is fantastic. Even without Infinity, just, you know, get rid of the Soldier. That's my stance on that. Um, another one I think I'm probably going to piss people off that I would love to see is Pendulum uh, Sorcerer. The ability to be dropped at 3 and pop 2. It's a little bit ridiculous. If it went to 1, I honestly feel Draco Pals would rise up to some degree i know they're not the most consistent thing but it's just like to, you gotta hit all the main decks that were out there and burning abyss is a hard one to hit so just pretty much hit whatever that's gonna freaking murder the deck i would probably say dante to one and i know it's gonna piss people off i don't care i'm sorry um but that's not the point of the video the point of the video is basically to get that point across that the glass ceiling needs to be lowered down. It really freaking does. Um, I'm okay with kaijus, but there is a problem with kaijus in the sense that they just deal with any boss monsters. Now, kaijus as a deck alone is fine, but when you have monarchs with storm fourth, woohoo! Getting rid of those like raid raptor Fal ultimate falcons, getting rid of them blue eyed spirit dragons, it hurts. You know, it's, it, and you could say, oh, but you could just tribute Spirit Trek and they still tribute your shit because it doesn't target. So, bye. <laughs> um, Monarch Storm Fourth is something I love to see you go to one. And their draw power card that searches out. Hitting those two cards is hitting the power and speed of Monarchs. And it lets them stay fairly competitive, but it slows them down at the same time. Cosmos are a tricky bastard, to be completely honest. Because I feel like Konami's just going to tippy toe around them for two fucking years. But honestly, most people would say uh, Dark Destroyer. Me, personally, I would say Tin Can. Tin Can and Cosmo Town. Those are two of the biggest foundations that that deck has. And there's plenty of other plays the deck has. But I honestly want to see if those two got limited, what would happen afterwards. Kind of like a, just test it for a format, see what happens, take it from there. Because I think everyone's expecting Dark Destroyer to be, you know, the one card that got hit. Let's move on. But, you know... Phantom Knights as a deck by itself is not really an issue. It's just more like the it keeps floating that makes it an issue. But there's outs to it. So Soul Drain the three or two in that case would kind of balance that in itself. But I think again we have Necro Valley, so that would be okay. Um, even without Soul Drain, that's what I'm trying to say. There's a lot that needs to just like come off from two to three. One of them is Dragon Ravine. One of them is Super Rejuvenation. That just needs to get the fuck off. And everyone who's going to say, but there's Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes can't really make 100% use of it. It's only we Exodia decks. And Royal Magical Library can get the fuck out the game. So there's not too much there, but that slows down so much stuff. And I'm trying to think of like generic draw cards. Uh, Lore should stay at two. It should never go to three again. 
And we're trying to slow the game down, not increase the speed. And yes, making D heroes exciting is fun, but you already have two Allure of Darkness and three D draw for draw power. I think that's okay, you know. Um, but again, there is always going to be issues that come up that Konami's going to have to deal with. But those are just like the main ones I feel have to take, you know, position number one in order for them to sell new product at a high rate. I mean, Shining Victories was an extremely well-selling set outside of the special editions. Special editions are kind of just shelf warmers, to be fair. Um, I talk to a lot of vendors and retailers and stuff. I actually do my research, guys. I'm being completely honest here when I say that. I'm trying to get a time of what we are at. We're at close to 10 minutes. Hello. So, um, is there anything else that I really want to talk about here? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, in closing, I should say, I'm not saying we need the OCG ban list, but at the same time, for people to think Blue Eyes and Dark Magician are going to be meta when we have Cosmos and Monarchs will probably still be a thing. I mean, they could just replace Stormforth with Soul Exchange. I know that's not nearly as good, but it allows you to control the board the same way you do. You know? As long as we have, like, Kaiju's popular, that tribute boss monsters out that have that, like, Lava Golem effect... You know, where they tribute your shit and they pop themselves on the field, but they're like a better version of Lava Golem. I, I think that the game is just going to be too damn fast for all these, to be fair, more slower decks to really take pace. I think Dark Magician and even Blue Eyes fall under that really good locals deck. And I know, and sometimes I would say regionals as well. Anything higher than that, I it's kind of iffy, you know. If there's enough players playing a Blue Eyes deck at a YCS... And no one's really ready for it. Yeah, it's probably going to get at least top 16, maybe top 32 or top 64. It'll have a good chilling. But, you know, when you can't really consider it meta if it's so easy to side against and it's just going to get pooed on. And there's a bunch of upcoming archetypes we have no idea. They're like the X Factor, which is the, the Spiral and the Evil Shambhala, the Earth, whatever. They, I know they changed the name. They gave it an official name. I can't remember it off the top of my head. But guys, let me know what you would want to see on the ban list. And you could post out hash, uh, hashtag free straddles. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Fireworks are ready. It's not even 4th of July. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you on the next video as always. Peace.